and we're here with our second video on how the science of tarping a roof really works. And I'm here with Rick Alexander of Lions Roofing, one of the seven Rosie certified roofing contractors throughout the state of Arizona. Rick, thanks for joining me here this morning. Thanks for having us. Now, Rick, the first thing I got to say of you finding this house and getting us up here on this roof, uh, a responsible homeowner would have had a trusted roofer looking at this roof a long time ago. Correct, yeah. What do you, what do you see that you could have told this homeowner, hey, you're, you're imminently going to start leaking? What, do you, what, what are you looking so at? So first of all, you've got the uh, missing granules. The aggregate is missing from the shingles. You're starting to see the black come through and uh, the exposed fiberglass. And then over here we've got just the little furry strips on the edges. Yeah, it's kind of starting to get kind of frayed, kind yeah. of look kind of furry. Yeah, absolutely. That's a real key, isn't it? I mean, that's that's an old shingle. Right. You can see that from anywhere. It sparkles and shines, the, catches your eye from the road. So the 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 UV light has killed that shingle. Correct. When yep. it's down to that point. Absolutely. Okay. And then of course missing shingles. Missing shingles is definitely a dead giveaway. That, for the, sure. The 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 um, wispy fiberglass string shining at you in the sun is kind of a whisper, but the missing shingles kind of, hey, Absolutely. somebody needs to pay attention up here. <laughs> yeah, you start picking up out of your driveway before you leave your house. It's yeah. kind of a dead giveaway. So we're going to talk about roofing. Probably what is the most common roofing material in all of Arizona, and we call it the three-tab asphalt shingle. All right, so what we have here, Rosie, is a new shingle obviously nice and pliable, not sparkling, very nice color. What we have here is the ply strip here. This is the glue adhesive that keeps the shingles together from flapping up when the wind comes. That's worn off on this roof here. It's already burned out and had it past its time. So now it's starting to lift and uh, we're having issues with the shingles blowing off. When y'all are installing a shingle roof, it lays down on the deck. The next shingle lays on top of this, and this mastic actually melts in the sun over time and bonds that next layer to this layer. Correct. And that ties the whole roof together. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And how long can it live happily ever after up there? Uh, 15 to 20 years, depending on the area and the sun exposure. Okay. All right. Can you tell me, what is this contraption you've put on me? This is a PPE. So this is personal protective equipment. So we have to wear this in order to be OSHA compliant, make sure we're safe, and we get home at the end of the day. So this is a harness and a rope system that we're wearing today. I'm, I'm actually tied to the roof with this thing. I'll demonstrate a fall later. Rick, <laughs> Rick, why don't you give them a couple of the pro tips on getting a tarp put on this kind of roof? Absolutely. All right. Let's do. So first off, we're going to make sure that we have the appropriate size tarp for the area. Get it as square as possible make it look nice. It's a tarp, it doesn't look great as it is. As they're rolling this tarp out, let me just say that the right size tarp attached the right way is gonna give you the security and the waterproofness you need until that roofer can get there and take care of the roof. That's correct, Rosie. So they're gonna, like I said, spread it out what we'll be doing today is getting this all laid out real nice, nice and tight up and over the peak of the roof here. And uh, they will take some wood sticks and they will put nails to secure that into the roof itself. And then they will put nails across the front edge to keep that from blowing up as well. So you're actually nailing this tarp to the roof. What do those nail holes do? The shingles are still pliable enough that they, you know, seal around seal the hole. Up. Okay. Yeah, so the holes are still sealed up. It's not going to be a big, you know, hole. It's just a nice little nail hole under the tarp itself. It'll be an 8 to 16 penny nail. Okay. For that, and then they'll use the uh, roofing cap nails across the front there. Okay, very good. So we've got one by two furring strips. We're not putting any tar or caulk down or anything like that. Not for this application, no. Okay, all right. Nope, just the sticks, and we'll just kind of cover the area here where these shingles are blowing off and the leak areas here in the middle of the roof. So what we're doing now is we're installing the wood furring strips over here on the opposite side of the ridge to keep this tarp secured. Not particularly critical that we're nailing to a rafter, we're just nailing to the roof deck. Okay, I just wanted the homeowners to know they didn't need to be looking for those.
And across the bottom here, we're gonna go ahead and add these uh, cap nails. This is for installing paper. It's got the big head on it in order to keep that surface area a lot larger so the tarp won't blow off. He'll put several of those across the bottom there to let that water keep flowing off. We don't wanna put any batten strips across the bottom there. It'll create a dam and the water won't be able to flow off the roof. One or two additional across at an angle to hold it all down. Correct. Again, when at this point, rain isn't your biggest enemy at this point. Wind is your biggest enemy Andy, that could catch a corner or a lip of this tarp, lift it, and then you'd have to worry about rain as a secondary concern. So getting it secured for the next wind event is the most critical element. We've got the right size tarp down. We've used the one by two batten strips to secure the edges and hold the tarp down. We've used the gasket flash uh, fender washer style roofing nail along the bottom to hold it down. We've put the strips in the middle to keep it from parachuting, ballooning up and down. This is a tarped three tab asphalt shingle roof. It'll probably buy you some time until the roofer can get there and uh, get you all taken care of. So in the case you've got a roof leak in our Arizona monsoon event, and you've called one of the Rosie certified roofers and no one can get to you immediately. And you wanna try and tarp something temporarily. These are a couple of the pro tips, but it isn't anything I would generally recommend. Leave it to the pros. They've, they're carrying OSHA approved equipment. They've got OSHA training. We're eight feet above the ground. A fall that far could really hurt. So homeowners, be careful out there. Shingles are old, brittle, they crack, and it's not, um... <laughs> I'll demonstrate a fall later. 